Hey guys, this is Muhammad Chami and I'm back with another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can take user defined input in your multi dimensional array using Java. So stay tuned. <laughs> So I have created a class name as test and I'm uh, main inside the class. So inside this we will code. So first we will import a library for scanner. Import Java dot YouTube dot scanner. Okay. So this will be helpful in taking input user defined input. Now we will create an object for scanner class. Scanner O B J equal to you can name it anything. I have named it. OBJ okay system dot in okay so now we will take we can take input user defined input now I will declare any any initialize an array I will initialize a integer type array uh, two dimensional array which will be three by three okay so this is how we can initialize an array this is the name ARR is the name of my array new in three so it's a three by three array okay now we will make a for loop for making it easy okay this is a for loop which will be starting from i equal to zero and i is less than three okay and i plus plus so it will be the loop will start from i zero and will be destroyed when it reaches 3. Okay, so whenever then the increment is i is equal to 3, the i loop uh, this loop will destroy. Okay, so I am making a nested loop inside i loop. This would be a I will call it a j loop. <laughs> okay, it will also start from 0 and will go to it will be less than 3. Okay, because according to our capacity of the multidimensional array here 3 by 3 so 0 1 2 ok so now inside this I will make uh, initialize my array name oh, sorry array instance variable which was arr ok now we will make bracket for i and j so this in this we will take input now I will use my input type object obj dot next in cause the type of our array is integer okay so now what will happen these two loops will be helpful in taking input in our two dimensional array how I will show you so I have something which will be helpful for you here if you can see it so what's happening when we start start our program I mean when we run it First, it will make an object of scanner type class, then it will initialize our two dimensional array. After that, it will go into our for loop. Both the loops have three three iterations. So, first, it goes inside the i loop uh, when the i is zero. So, the condition is true as i is less than three. So, now it will go inside its parentheses and found an other loop which is j loop. So J loop also has three iterations. So in the first J would be zero, and the con it can be uh, it satisfies the condition as it is less than three. So it also goes inside its bracket and found this point. So now we have I zero and J zero. So it will take input in I zero and J zero. Okay, whatever the user will input. After that, it will go back to its J loop and see if the condition is okay after the increment. So when we increment in J, it will become I. Okay. Oh, sorry. It will become one. So it does not break the loop, and we cannot go back to I loop until and unless our J loop is working. Okay. So after the increment, the J becomes one. Okay. So now the I will be zero and J will be one, and when inside when it goes inside its brackets, here it will take input in I zero and J one. I hope you guys understand that. Now after that, it goes back to its loop where to see the condition whether it satisfies or not. 
when the increment is j it becomes 2 and which is less than 3 so the loop will not break and now it will go inside the parenthesis and see uh, run this line of code now this will take input in i0 and j2 why because our i loop is at 0 and our j loop is at 2 so it will take input in j2 and i0 okay now when it goes back to its loop and gets an increment now j is 3 which is not less than 3 so the loop will break and it will back, uh, go back to i loop okay now it will be an increment in i here so i will become 1 after checking the condition it is yes it is less than 3 so it will again go back to uh, its inside its brackets and found the same j loop now the j loop will come back to 0 j loop will be at 0 again the same happens it goes inside its bracket and runs this line of code now i is 1 and j is 0 ok how because that there is an increment in i that's why so i is 1 and j is 0 now it will go back to j loop and there will be an increment in j now it will become 1 ok so yes the, it is less than 1 is less than 2 so the loop will run again and it will run this line of code now the j will be 1 and i was 1 so it will take input in 1 and 1 ok i equal to 1 and j equals to 1 now it will go back to for loop uh, for loop for j it will increment and j becomes 2 so it, it still satisfies the condition that it is less than 3 so j is 2 uh, then it will again go inside the brackets and see now this time i would be 1 and j would be 2 so now it is here ok so it will take input and i 1 and j 2 so again it will go back to the for loop for j this time j after the increment j is 3 so the, it does not satisfy the conditions to uh, so the loop breaks and it will again go to i now there is an again an increment in i and now i is 2 ok so after that it again go inside the bracket and j loop runs 3 times for 0 for 1 and for 2 and takes input in uh, i equal to 2 and first j equal to 0 then i equal to 2 j equal to 1 and then i equal to 2 and j equal to 2 this is how we will take input in our 3 dimensional loop oh sorry array sorry 2 dimensional array so this is this was the dry run of the uh, program I hope you guys understand it. Let's run it and print it on the screen. Okay. So for printing it, let me copy these two for loops. We need these to copy each and every uh, value of our two-dimensional array. Okay. So this now I will print everything on the screen. This is the name of my array. I and j ok so let's make a south statement here too let's print a line on every time it enters the j loop uh, i loop ok what does that mean whenever it, uh, this loop for i runs then it will print this line ok and when i will be 0 this it will print this line when i will be 1 it will print this line when i will be 2 it will print this line ok so now let's run it and see so it's asking for input uh, let's run it again so here it keeps asking for, uh, asking for input we have to give it 9 input as it is our 2 dimensional array 3 by 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, when I press enter, it should print all the values in our array which is stored by our user, okay, which would be these from 1 to 9. So now I am pressing the enter. So here you can see, let me magnify it for you. Here you can see that when the i was 0, it printed a line. And then 
here i was 0 and j was 0 okay here i was 0 and j was 1 here i was 0 and j was 2 now uh, when the increment in i now here is i 1 and j 0 here is i 1 and j 1 here is i 1 and j 2 now there is another increment in i now i is 2 so i is 2 and j is 0 now here the 8 is stored in uh, i2 and j1 and here this 9 is stored on the array where i is 2 and j is 2 so this is the driver i hope you guys understand the uh, this program for how to take input in two dimensional array user define input in two dimensional array so i hope you guys understand it if you have any query related to this uh, program you can uh, comment down comment below and please like subscribe share thank you so much take care